When I was uh, on Avengers and you had so many superheroes together, they all had private chefs. And I was like, hey, let me get some of that. And so I got into Hemsworth's chef who cooked me kangaroo, believe it or not. After two days, I mean, look, my arms are half the size of his. What's up everybody, Chris Pratt here. Men's Health has asked me to tell you everything that I eat. So let's dig in. I've always wanted to have the career I have right now. And a big part of that was just taking this body that I live in and tuning it up. From Andy on Parks and Rec, all the way up till now where I'm playing Owen in Jurassic World or Star-Lord or James Reese uh, on The Terminalist. It's kind of a spectrum you can live on. And that is really, to me, kind of a health spectrum too. Because when I was Andy, I was pretty unhealthy. I can't believe that I would eat five cheeseburgers for lunch. And I lived in like a constant state of, oh God, I'm freaking sick of eating so much. And that was happiness at that time. And now it's the exact opposite. Now eating is boring, but the times between eating, I feel great. Whereas before eating was fun, but the times between I felt like crap. It, has it gotten harder? And the answer to that is yes and no. The first transformation of my body to become Star-Lord was the hardest because I had the, the furthest to go. I was about two, almost 300 pounds and never really thought that I would ever be considered a candidate to play one of these sort of action hero kind of roles. It sucks at first, but soon you kind of realize that you feel better emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. So that requires some sacrifice. You don't get to eat as much as you'd like. You don't get to party as much as you'd like. You get to work out a little more than you'd probably like. But the reason it gets harder is I'm getting a little older. My body doesn't recover quite as quickly, but you know, I'm healthy. Healthiest I have ever been. I'm under no illusion that I have what it takes to be a Navy SEAL. Very few people on the planet do. That's why they're so tough. So playing James Reese and playing a commander of Navy SEALs, to me, I had to at least try to create the illusion that I could be someone capable of that. So there's a certain physicality that goes with that. For me, actually, it was really about just kind of trying to trim body fat. So I did something called intermittent fasting. And I ate from like noon to about 6 p.m. That was my window to eat. And what did I eat in that time? Pretty much just healthy, boring stuff. There was a lot of chicken breasts. There was a lot of lean protein, a lot of vegetables. I might have like corn tortillas with some eggs, a lot of avocado, good, clean, healthy fats, tons of coffee, <laughs> black. I'm like a cowboy, you know, I drink my coffee black. Periodically, you gotta treat yourself with a cheat meal. And so for me, it's desserts, man. I go to my mother-in-law's house for Sunday family dinner and I just go crazy on the desserts. And that's everything from ice cream and cookies, cake, pie. And I do about seven days worth of damage and I take about seven days to pay that off. And at the end, uh, get right into it. So I guess here to be a little bit about how I've prepared for my latest roles. My eating mm, a philosophy, if you will. One thing you don't put in a protein shake is protein. Call it a protein shake, it's a milkshake. Smooth or chunky peanut butter. For me, it doesn't matter, but I do have to eat the entire jar in one go. I dip pizza crust in everything. If there's anything dippable around me, it's gonna get got. I'll dip it in some ranch. I'll dip it in some marinara. I'll dip it in a fish tank. I don't give a sh I'm gonna dip the crust. I don't know, I haven't had pizza crust in 15 years, obviously. <laughs> I'm a for sure a flaming hot guy. I love buffalo sauce. I put it on everything. To me, food is just a buffalo sauce delivery system. I'll put buffalo sauce on a Men's Health magazine and slap myself in the face with it. When I was doing Terminal List, I would actually bathe my whole body in buffalo sauce. It got dangerous because so many members of the crew, military guys also love buffalo sauce and then they would try to hunt me down to eat me. Didn't work. What does success taste like? I've never eaten success. I'll tell you though, when you are blessed to find some success, it tastes like the food you wanna eat. It tastes a lot better than canned sardines and a cup of noodle and top ramen, which I ate for years. It's a good question. I'm, I'm honored that you would ask me that question. My last meal on earth, assuming that once I'm done, I'll be executed, my, the famous last meal. I'm gonna hack the system. I'm gonna go all you can eat buffet and eat forever. Five years later, I've eaten pancakes, bacon, lots of breakfast food. I cycle through all the foods. It's all you can eat. Look at the fine print. You said it's my last meal on earth. You can't execute me until I'm done eating. I'm not done eating, but lots of bacon. I am a strong believer that if you finish your food first, you win. 
and you get to eat off other people's plate, that's the prize. And now it's a problem. I'll finish my food so quickly and then I'll just stare at my wife's food. It makes her very uncomfortable. I'm gonna take a little bite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gauge your reaction. I'm gonna start with the meat. Whatever's within fork stabbing distance. If you think it's cute, you're done. If you get angry, look over there. What is that? Still finish all your food. In all honesty, I'm trying to eat slower. It's like I'm afraid someone's gonna steal it from me. My dad, I think my dad's gonna come and take my chicken. It's my chicken. Red lobster or Olive Garden? C, both. All you can eat, breadsticks and salad. And then you're gonna pop over to Red Lobster and you're gonna say, give me the biggest one you have. Give me the old 96er. If I eat it, all everyone eats for free. I wanna catch the oldest lobster on the planet. I wanna look in the magnificent eyes of this beast. Say, oh my God, you're magnificent. And then I'll boil it alive, and rip its flesh off and eat it so that I can get the meal for free. Please, Red Lobster, make it happen. Woo, I know I'm full. I've had uh, about as much of myself as I can take. I'm sure you have too. So that's the end of that. Adios, mother. <laughs>